Today I'm going to show you how to make a double exposure effect with Photoshop. So double exposure photography is a term that was used in the days of film, where photographers would expose the same piece of film twice to get a kind of a cool overlap effect. Now, most high power DSLRs today come with a similar setting to get that same effect, but what if you don't have a high power DSLR? Well, don't worry because Photoshop has plenty of different ways to get this style. But today, we're going to do a quick and dirty way using layer masks to get the true double exposure effect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we have both our subject and our background image open in Photoshop. Now, I chose these images because they have really nice darks and really nice highlights too. It helps to have your subject image on a white background just so you get that really nice, like, harsh transition. And if it's not on a white background, you can always make it on a white background, so it really doesn't matter. It just saves me a step in the process to have it on a white background. So we have our subject, and we have our background image. And I like this picture of our subject, but if you look at the background, it's not, like, truly, truly white. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is Command-J, and get a nice new layer going. And then I'm going to add image adjustments and I'm going to adjust the levels on this. So see how our white is like way over here giving the back kind of a gray effect? I'm going to just bring that in. So I have a really nice white background. And I don't want to go too black, but I want to go like a little bit darker. Okay, that looks good. So now we have all these layers adjusted properly. And we're going to take our background layer, duplicate that, and then just go ahead and shift drag into our subject layer. So now we have this really nice looking coffee shop sitting on top of our subject layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and reduce the opacity on this coffee shop layer so I can kind of see both images. Now I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of just line stuff up, see what I like. Keep in mind that the dark areas are only going to show dark areas and the light areas are going to disappear because we're going to do this effect with layer masks. Okay, so I kind of like this dark area over here and I think it would look nice lined up with this beard and face on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do is Command T to transform and flip horizontal. And flip horizontal. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and kind of like line this dark area up, this face. Just kind of adjust it, tweak it, get it how you want it. So the important part to me is that we have this really nice, really nice dark area right where the shadow on his face is, so that lines up and shows really well. And it's always a bonus to get both of his eyes in, and it looks like that corner right there would do just fine. So I'm going to bring this back up to full opacity and I'm going to add an image mask, I'm sorry, I'm going to add a layer mask to the background image. I'm just going to go ahead and hide that because we don't need that right now. So now this is the really cool part. We're going to go ahead and go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. And basically what that does is it makes a brush out of whatever image you have up on this layer. I'm going to go ahead and name it something like Awesome Beard Dude. Okay. So now we have a brush made up of this guy's face. And we have our background layer on a layer mask. And actually, what I forgot to do, I'm going to do right now, is just drop in a white background layer. Oop, because that's not white. I'm going to drop in a white background layer. There we go. So now I have this layer mask. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this brush to black. I'm going to go ahead and select our dude. And I'm going to go ahead and just make sure the opacity is all the way up. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a brush right there. Ooh. Oh, okay, sweet. So I can just command out that layer mask, and it kind of gives you that effect you want. With that light fading on the background, his eyes visible, and you can still kind of see the awesome coffee shop there in the background. And I think it looks pretty good. So the next step is to do whatever you want with it. Get crazy with it. Add in some funky backgrounds. Do it with your face. Do it with your friend's face. Superimpose your face on your friend's face. Make a cool, like, uh, movie poster. Make a cool album cover. Show me what you made. 
Uh, you can find me online at Pat K. Schmidt on all the social media networks, and I'd love to see what you got. So, thanks.